good morning. We're just out on a walk, aren't we, Jesse? Walkies. Walkies. Vito's in rabbit mode. Get out of it, leave it. Got my selfie stick. So I think this is actually a full bred or thoroughbred Shire horse. It is huge. Look at the size of its neck. Oh, you play rabbits. Go on, get it, boy, get it. Rabbits. Get it, boy. That big dick. <laughs> Careful, stay away from that. Come on. Can we see any chat? And let's compare the Polaroid glasses. Does that make any difference? Look at all the beautiful blossom. Watch it. Ah, oh, wow. Ah, oh. <laughs> do it again. Ah, oh, beautiful blossom. Ah, lovely. Another lovely bridge. Dream house. Go on, get it, boy. <laughs> so, this is the old river, it's called. Runs parallel with the Loddon for a while until it goes into the Thames. <laughs> What's this? Look in there. Rabbits, yes. Rabbits. Ooh. Oh, Vita, what have you spotted? Squirrel, yes. Hey, Jess, hold the camera. Will it dare to go? Oh, yeah, bloody hell, that was a good jump. See if I can throw a stone at the squirrel. Yes, hold the camera. Why would you do that? Right, you ready? Bloody out of close. Evil. I thought you were going to follow me. Jess is going off for a wee. I don't think I can. It's a problem with having a girlfriend. They just need to have a piss all the time. Well, you need to get a boyfriend instead. 
Yeah. At least they'll have a dick so they can piss wherever they want. Another lake. What do you think of this one, Vito? Yes. Should we see if there's any wildlife? I don't know if you can see that, but there's a big old heron over there. I'll zoom in with the iPhone so you can see. Look at it. There's so many more herons on the river now. I bet it's because of lockdown. So if you ever need to wash your hands out in the in the wilderness of Twyford near Reading, use some birch leaves or we'll take it into the river and I'll show you what happens. didn't work at all. It was meant to lather up to a nice soapy paste, but I'm gonna have to use this instead. Where is it? There it is. So here's a good example. We have the old river over here to my left, and to my right, we have the Loddon. And they're both going to the Thames, not just far from here, on the other side of Twyford. Screw, screws, get away, get away. Vito! The amount of fish in here, I bet, is a crazy amount. So tranquil. So that says private fishing. Warning. No running with fish, no cooking fish, no killing fish. What's the fucking point of fishing? Wait, come up. Come on. Oh. Vito, look. Come on. This way, come on. Oh, you've worked it out. So let's see if we can identify all the uh, hedgerow plants. We've got cow parsley. We've got nettles. We've got wild mint. We've got cleaver. What else have we got? We've got dock leaves. We've got blackberries. We've got comfrey. Horrible stuff, makes you itch. We've got um, burdock. And that's about it. Oh, dead nettles. That's more burdock here. And this is Jack of the Hedge or Wild Mustard. Tastes really good. Especially leaves. So I think a dog's pissed on that one.
Good morning. Again, it's the next day. I really chucked it down last night, so I didn't have the chance to film uh, the axe and the knife work to completion. But here we go. Here's, here's what I've come up with. So here's the, the Puko knife. I finished the handle. And yeah, it's looking pretty nice. It's got the antler, brass, I think that's you. I think this is purple heart. And then yeah, here's the Haza. Slim the handle right down. Flared palm swell. Yeah, it's come out really nice. Might give it a swing in the woods today. So I'm out here in the field, just doing a bit of practice with the old fly rod. And um, I'm aiming at that tennis ball over there on the floor. Just on the way now to Henley to meet up with Jeremy. We're going to go and get some breakfast and then do a bit of shooting in the woods. Walking down to the woods, and the bluebells are out. Beautiful, isn't it, Jeremy? Oh, it's lovely. You look like you're walking down for a fashion shoot down in Camden Town. <laughs> Look at these. So I've seen a few squirrels, but they've all been in, in, this, in the distance, and by the time I got up to them, they've run away. I'm quite close to the footpath now, so I've got a dart around the other side. I'm going to head over to the top of the ridge and then over to the other part of the woodland. Uh, hopefully there's, there's going to be some squirrels and uh, maybe a few deer. <laughs> Here's a little bit of a woodland fork I made it a couple of uh, months ago. I've not seen this one. Probably someone's garden. That's the problem with living in the UK, every part of it's owned by someone. As I've said before, this structure.
Get up. Get up. Up. Good boy. Oh, he was a good boy. Ah. Oh, king of the grave. I crown you, Vito, king of the grave. <laughs>